Our next stop on the journey was Amsterdam and from here on every place I visit is brand new so I really don't know what to expect. We were actually staying outside of Amsterdam uh, in a place called Abkoud in the middle of the countryside. We just settled into our apartment, which was a farmhouse, and it was pretty idyllic. It had acres of space, a huge garden, a nice river. The only downside was our own fault, to be honest. We left the door open during the evening, and a shitload of mosquitoes made their way into our house, uninvited. I got bitten alive both nights. And that nice river I mentioned earlier, yeah, I fell in that. We kept having to rescue the football from like the mucky water at the end of the river. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go the other way. Now, seriously, you can just lean in and grab it. No, I'm gonna... And slip in if you want. <laughs> ah! No. That's like the worst way. That's stuck on there, it's spinning round. <laughs> you can't even put it out of the way. Oh, that was <laughs> <laughs> proud of yourself, we spent the following day wandering around the streets and canals of Amsterdam. It was pretty hectic and everyone made their way around the city on bikes, um, but we couldn't find a single bike rental, so we just walked for miles, really. <laughs> We made our way through Vondel Park and we kept going until we were far out of the city centre. When we finally made it back to Abkald Station, it was late at night and it was pretty much pitch black. We were faced with a very long walk back to our farmhouse. Now, in the morning, we had walked from the farmhouse to the station. But that was in daylight. We now had to retrace our steps back to the farmhouse with no light to guide us besides our flashlights on our phone. Inevitably, we got horrendously lost. We failed to retrace our steps and we walked for miles and miles in the wrong direction. Orienteering and eventually we arrived home. According to an app on Stefan's phone, we walked over 37,000 steps in that day. The next morning, we escaped the rain of Abkald and arrived in sunny Frankfurt. We spent the day exploring the area and we walked along the main river, which is really nice, and kind of just familiarised ourselves with the surroundings. After a great breakfast the following morning, we decided to head to Frankfurt Zoo. There was supposed to be a tiger, which I was kind of excited about, but it wasn't there. Um, there was also supposed to be a cheetah, uh, but that wasn't there either. But there was still a good variety of animals.
the short time that we had left at Frankfurt, we wanted to see the city from a higher viewpoint. Just around the corner from where we're staying was Frankfurt's main tower. We spent the last few hours of the day up on top of it, taking in the views. So yeah, you could say our time in Frankfurt ended on a high. It looks like a strange duck. Do you reckon you'd be sat on the duck and sink? <laughs> <laughs> no. 